Hello everybody and welcome back and hope you guys are doing well. We will be continuing with our previous lesson and on the previous class what we have done is we have created some command button and we also uh, added some command like create new and delete them uh, save and today we will be continuing with our previous classes and we will be adding some more button uh, uh, more button uh, template is there so we will be using that one to create a uh, more, uh, more buttons so let's just go and uh, open our previous form uh, what we have done so far uh, so we have a uh, three button uh, new record save record and a uh, delete record so this is a strip uh, action plan and we will be using a uh, standard one so let's just go and change this to strip to standard sorry standard and save and open it so we have a uh, three button and uh, let me change the here action pan and we have a button group button group name we create and uh, save as So another one we will create a one more group over here. This will create a new button group. And for this button group we will be giving caption as a, um, let me say just as a then okay so so previously we have uh, added a button and command button so today we'll be using uh, uh, another one uh, drop dialog button uh, yeah maybe drop dialog button maybe later first we will be doing as a menu button and a separator okay let's just create a menu a menu button so menu will be giving a Just create a name as a my menu. Okay, and save it. Just open and see what uh, we have done. Okay, we haven't had anything on our menu. Okay, inside this we'll be adding uh, one more. Okay, let's add a uh, few command button. Okay, one and two command button and one more button. Okay, let's give a uh, text as a command one and another one will give us command 2 and for this uh, button we will giving us um, button 1 ok so save it restore and open it ok now we have a new menu over here my menu and when you click you have a uh, three command button that we just created okay so one two three the three button that we just created and this is a group that we added a button group which is a name as a maintain so i will move this to uh, this is uh, move the button group to uh, we move this one to down Okay, and we have a menu. Okay, and let's just give a image. Uh, image. Uh, you can give any. Let me give an image. Above, and uh, my location would be embedded. 
now let's just go and search for our image let me take one of the any image for just for reference okay let me take this one right. just for reference only okay so let me use this image over here okay and don't forget that we have to give a size as a big if you okay this big uh, option you can use it when you give a button display text and text image above or text image uh, image below uh, these two options you can you have to use the uh, option big for text image uh, left and text image right uh, you don't have to give a big option okay so let's just save it and just open it okay now we have a uh, here mm, new image okay so you can also give a image for all of this but uh, we are not going to do it now let me just add a one more design to this my menu button okay my mm, menu button is over here and uh, let me add one more command button okay we have so one two three and after this three button let me add a new separator so this separator i want to put down okay uh, this is put as a uh, uh, just give us a uh, and uh, Okay, and just save this one and try to open it. And when we look at down, you can see we have a menu separator as we give it the name. So let me add one more uh, button, uh, one more button, and let's move it down. So on the text I will give button 2 and for button 2 uh, let us assign one image on the text and image on the image on the left okay so let me select one embedded pictures and let me just select um, any image from below here okay so let's just take this one uh, 3477 just copy and paste it in your image normal image option here so for this we don't need to have a assign a big option over here so just save it okay, after save and just uh, open it Okay, now you can see an image, uh, image with a button. So this is a menu separator. So this is how we create a, um, a menu, a drop-down menu, and you can also add a command for each button. But now we don't have any command. You can just uh, go and add your own command over here. But for now, we are not doing it with. And we'll be going and um, using another option. Uh, now we have a two button group uh, let me add another button group and uh, caption let me just give as a just um, another this name is name is not related to anything but just to show you only I am using all of this name and um, but when you actually try and uh, when you actually do some project you have to give a proper name according to it okay so on this I will just add a 
So we have done button, command button, and menu button, and menu item. Uh, okay, let's switch to a menu item. Okay, menu item button. Okay, create a new menu item button, and inside this uh, new menu item button, we have to what we have to do is uh, add a. Okay, let me give a name for this menu item button. Uh, Open, open new form. Okay. And let me also add a uh, one image for this. Or you can add, or uh, that depend on you. Okay, so here, uh, embedded and. Here I will choose image location and from here I will choose a uh, one image option okay, let me just choose any of the image uh, okay let me choose, just choose this one one two one four and all over here one two one four okay so this one now and uh, save it so let's go down and here you can see menu item type and display output or action uh, actually we will be doing this uh, menu item on uh, the menu item over here which is over here uh, we will be doing a uh, few more classes uh, after this uh, we still have few more classes then we will be using this but for now just to show you how to use this menu uh, item button I will just going to show you uh, so just select the menu type as a display for form Okay, then for menu item you can uh, select any of this or you can create your own but for now I'm just show, uh, showing you so I will be using an available uh, menu item name and when we actually go and create a, a menu item classes that time we will be, I will be showing you how to create a menu item so I will just using one over here and just save it and just uh, restore it and open the form okay so now we have a uh, open a new uh, form menu okay, let's just click so it will open a new form for us okay so menu is a uh, menu item button is something similar to what we have over here uh, these are also all Menus, right? This, uh, this, uh, these are also uh, similar to uh, menu item button. But now, what we are doing is we are using in a menu a toolbox uh, or an action tab. So we are creating our own, and we gave a image and name. So when you click on it, it's actually going and opening another form, which is similar to, uh, which is similar to the. Uh, a menu that is available here. These all are menu, right? So this is the same option that we are creating in our form, accent, accent pen. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it now. Uh, later when we actually go and um, do our classes on menu items, that time I will show you how to create all of this. But for now, uh, when I'm just showing you how to add it with your, I uh, use it with your uh, menu item button. So now I have a new button group, and uh, I have a menu item. Right? Okay. Oh, sorry. I have a new button that is here, which is just another, and I have a menu item button. Okay, now uh, on this control, we'll be adding another one. Uh, 
drop dialog button. Uh, actually, this is also belongs to another uh, another class. Uh, but I will be just showing you how to actually use a drop dialog button. Okay, it's quite similar to menu item button, but uh, we'll be using it for uh, now just to show you uh, how to use it. But uh, we have a different classes for it. Okay, so just don't worry that if you didn't understand anything over here. So we'll create a new dialog uh, drop dialog button. Okay, now uh, the text I will give is drop dialog drop dialog okay so now just give a text only right. uh, save it and just open it here we have a drop dialog but now we are getting no objects specified uh, specified on menu item so this is also similar like a menu item but when you click over here it will actually open up uh, drop drop dialog which we can add uh, any option over here so let's just go ahead add our option in our drop dialog button this is our drop dialog button and what we have is where is my drop dialog button here we have given a name and now we have an option over here when you scroll down you can see we have here we have a option to specify a menu item name. This is also uh, similar as uh, what we did before. But for this, we will be we need to create a one form that is actually a drop down form. So let's go to our form and add a new form from a template. A new form from a template, and we will create a, um, a drop dialog form. Okay, let me create a drop dialog form. Okay, and we go to design, and we have a uh, two tab, right? Yeah. This is a group dialog. So we have a two group, and for first group we have text, two text, right? So, and let me give this one as a uh, dialog, and for this is just my simple drum hello okay just uh, save it and restore right now this form i need to add to my uh, menu item right so this is a form we have created okay let me just rename it and just say as a project of dialog okay. and i can also drop it to my design first now we have created this form and I want to add it to my menu item uh, because when we use a drop dialog button it is actually asking for us to fill in the menu item name. So we will be creating a new menu item over here just on display and create a new menu item and I will just give a name as a Richard uh, drop down. Okay, so you can create your own name and we just use it as this one. Okay. Okay, now we have a menu and let me assign this menu. I need to assign one form, right? So uh, I will go to here and object type is uh, you can choose any of this but now for now we are choosing a form because we have open a form and on the object I will be choosing my Richard underscore dialog so this is my form name right so this is my form and similar we have uh, add into 
this form object type is form and object is uh, Richard and Esco dialog drop dialog all right so save it and this one also we have to save it okay restore it and now what we have to do is when you open it it is showing you a drop dialog so let me just add one field over here we don't have any data source now if let's track our table over to this form also and uh, in the design part the first group uh, let me drag one of the field to the this uh, we just drag an item name to this group let me just move it um, to the bottom you now save it okay when you open this again uh, you will see a um, the item name that we assign right so this is about uh, item field item name okay we have done this uh, design now let's just go to our drop dialog button and on the menu item i will be giving my uh, menu item name which is uh, richard uh, drop down okay richard drop down this is already here okay so save it and restore it and we'll be opening this form okay so we have a drop dialog and when we click on it it's actually popping up a uh, small font that we just created right so this is how we add a drop dialog uh, to our button and let me show you the example where it is used is in product information okay. product that categories okay now if you see over here this is also using one of the uh, drop dialog so when you click on it it will actually give you a one form a small form that you can set over here so this is a similar type that we just created over here right so let's just go and add some um, for design and on our button group let me move it to bottom right so here drop dialog and let me give one image a big image and uh, location let me give a gradient from here i will choose one of the image okay let me choose this one 10713 right and don't forget to give a, a big option which is should be yes if you want to have a bigger image okay open it now okay now we have a drop dialog and when you click it, you have one small form that we just created. So I think uh, this much for this video, guys. And hope you enjoyed this and learned uh, some new feature about our action tab and a uh, button that we can create it, create it in our uh, action tab.